Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Joanne. I have another thrift haul video to share with you today, but before I do that, I want to share something else with you. I've recently been getting some very nice comments about uh, my nail polish color and how nice my nails are looking, and there's a really good reason for that. I was recently approached by a company called Nail Addict. They are out of Los Angeles, California. They wanted to know if they could send me some of their polishes that I could review and tell you folks about uh, what I thought of them. And I was very happy to get contacted by them because I found out that they are not only vegan but cruelty free as well as nine free, which means that their products are free of things such as uh, formaldehyde and acetone and I had to write some of them down. Uh, parabens, camphor, and some other uh, products that, that just aren't good for you. So I ordered two colors. I ordered their base and their top coat and also their removing, uh, it's like a polish, but it helps to remove the nail polish. So I want to tell you about it. It comes in a slew of colors. I mean, there are so many to choose from. It's really hard to do. I chose this one. I have, to, I have to put my glasses on here. I chose Magical, which I have been wearing. I actually wore this polish for a little over two weeks. And the only reason that I took it off was because my nails were going out. And my nails, not the polish, but my nails were starting to look bad. The polish stayed, honestly, as bright and shiny as it did the first day I put it on through the entire two weeks. I did not have one chip, crack, peel, nothing. It was amazing. The other color that I chose was called Ice Skating. And that's the color that I am wearing today. So the process is very, very easy. You do need, uh, this is an old uh lamp that I have from a product that I used to use, you do need a UV or LED light for this because it is a gel polish. So what you do, uh, let's see, that's the top coat. That's the remover. So here is the base. So what you want to do is put one coat of the base on and then if you're using the UV light, it's only 30 seconds under the UV. If you're using an LED, you have to you you have to cure it for uh, a total of 30. I'm sorry, sorry, total of two minutes, total of two minutes. So that's what I had to do. Uh, so you put the base on. In my instance, I do the two minutes curing. Then you put one coat of the polish on. You cure it again for however long you need to. I put a second coat on and I, I've done that with all gel polishes. In fact, all just regular polishes that I've used because I think it just gives you a nicer looking uh, product when you're all finished. And then you put on the top coat. Now we'll say when you put the base on and between the two polish colors, it, the surface feels a little bit tacky. And that worried me initially until I put the top coat on, cured it for the two minutes, and then wham, hard, hard as it could be, hard as nails, right? It was, it, it's just amazing. Now, my remover here, my remover has a different consistency than the polishes themselves. I don't know if that's supposed to be the way the product is or maybe there was just something wrong with this particular bottle. I did put an email out to the company, but I have yet to hear back to, uh, from them to know if that's the proper consistency of it. So you could use either their remover, or if you like, you can use an acetone to take it off, and that's with any gel polish. Do not be like me and pick it off of your nails because it can damage your nails because there is a nice, has a really nice seal onto your nail. Um, so this I just put on last night. I expect that this is going to last me at least two weeks. I've got to jump on the computer uh, this evening. I'm going to order at least two more colors because I do like to change my nail polish um, color frequently. So I'm going to leave a link to the company's uh, website in the description box for this video. And if you're interested in ordering um, anything from them, I do not get any um, money from if you do make an order, but they did, did give me a code, which I'll also put in the description box for this video where you can get 50% off of your order. So you could try it out at half of the cost. If you don't have 
an LED or a UV light, they have them on, available on their site. So if you try it out, I'd love to know what you think of it. I am just happy as happy can be with it. Otherwise, I'd let you know. So that's it on that. So let's go ahead and get started with the thrift haul. Now onto that haul. You might want to go and grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea because this may take a while. I hit the Christmas jackpot on this particular thrifting uh, trip that I went on. I want to show you first the things that I'll be keeping for myself and then I'll tell you the things, well everything else then will be for resale. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would stick around and if you're not new, stick around to the end of the video and let everybody know what your favorite find or finds were uh, from today's haul and I will do the same. And also if you're new to my channel and you do like thrift haul videos, uh, don't forget to click that uh, subscribe button and the all notifications bell. And as far as a live sale tomorrow evening, I am not going to have one tomorrow evening. I did have one last Monday night. And as a lot of you know, I started a new job and between the sale and uh, the work, it really took a toll on me and I was pretty beat all week long. So I'm going to not have a sale tomorrow and then I'll see how this next week goes at work, whether or not I will have one on the following Monday night, but I did want to let you all know that. Um, let me see, I think this is the receipt from this trip. And I believe everything that I'm going to show you uh, without the tax costs just under $40. So I met a new friend at the outlet. Um, her name is Heidi. Heidi, hello, if you are watching. And Heidi remembered that I was collecting dice. So she found this packet of dice for me, all different kind of colors in there. So thank you so much, Heidi, for stopping and saying hello to me and for remembering that I was collecting those. I found a bunch of Christmas ornaments for myself. Um, this last year I didn't put up a large tree, but fingers crossed I can do it this Christmas. And I'm going for a very kind of uh, rustic sort of laid back feel on the tree. So I thought this chair is just perfect for that, as well as this one with a couple of bells on it. They're really, really adorable. And I'm already honestly looking forward to decorating my tree this coming Christmas. This uh, Santa, I'm going to say for that very purpose too. I know he's not very rustic, uh, but it's a rustic and then white. And this fits in perfectly with the white, I think. So he's going to be a nice addition. Found two of these very large bulbs. Look at how beautiful these are. Uh, oh, they originally had them in their store, in their thrift store for $2.29. And there are two of them. So obviously they didn't sell in the store. So off to the, yep, $2.29, off to the bins they went and I was lucky enough to pick them up. Oops. Found a little heart, little metal heart. That'll be really nice at catching some light and stuff and, and just, you know, dispersing the light around. And then this I'm going to put away for my fall tiered tray, fall breeze and autumn leaves on this galvanized piece of metal. For myself, a couple of um, items of clothing. First is, wait a minute, which way is this? Here we go. Uh, this is from The Gap. It's just this really nice cotton sweater with kind of not quite three quarter length sleeves, but enough that will come down to my elbow and make me feel a little bit more comfortable. It's a medium, but it's an oversized medium. And then this really pretty dark blue apartment nine, nothing special, V-neck. Almost like a t-shirt, but it is a sweater material, a lighter sweater material. So I was pretty happy to find those two. And then I was really happy to find this. Now I didn't need a tree skirt, but I can always swap them off, you know, different years. And look at this tree skirt. It's this fluffy, fluffy white material. Oh my goodness. It's so, so soft. You can see brand new with the tags on it. It was from TJ Maxx. 
supposedly the retail price was $36 on this. TJ Maxx price was $24.99. Oh my goodness gracious. So right there already, $25. <clears throat> and I spent $40. So that's half of my money right there in this tree skirt. So I said last time, you gotta love thrifting. <laughs> we put this over here. Okay, so I think that is everything that I'm keep. No, I think I may be keeping this for myself too. Just found this uh, candle, happy birthday, and it smells like birthday cake. Oh my goodness, I wish you could smell that. And it has little sprinkles in it too. This smells amazing. I'll have to watch that around uh, Lewis when it's going. Excuse me. <coughs> so, so sorry. Let me get to the shoes because I know that's not everyone's, you know, cup of tea. Uh, these are going to be going to Play It Again Sports. I brought in a bunch of things to them yesterday and sold with them. So these are some soccer shoes, little ones, uh, uh, Adidas. And then... These will be going as well. Uh, these are some adult soccer shoes from Nike Alpha. Uh, let's see. These will not be going to them. These are going to be going on Poshmark. Uh, they don't take any kind of shoes or sneakers, but this is a little kid's Merrill. And these are in beautiful condition. I do think they were worn. The bottoms look a little, it's not really coming off on the camera, but the bottoms look a little kind of dirty. So I think these were worn, but not a whole heck of a lot. And then the last pair is this pair of BOC Born Concept. Just a really pretty uh, brown slip-on sandal. And let's see, what size are these? Those are a nine. And these... I wonder if these were worn. These look in beautiful, beautiful condition. So that's it for the shoes. Now let me show you this next thing. I was so upset with myself. I found this amazing percolator and I know I had one a while back and um, it went to one of my viewers uh, and then somebody else contacted me and they were disappointed because it, it had already gone. And I, I cannot remember who it was. Now, this is a great percolator. However, yours truly, I had it hanging on the side of my cart. And I just brushed it with my hand. I mean, literally just brushed it with my hand. Well, the glass top must not have been on securely enough. It fell off and it broke on the floor. Now, I did manage to pick up the larger pieces of it. So I'm going to, have, going to go ahead and glue the glass pieces together and put it back on. Um, it's, it was just perfect. And I can, could not believe that I did that. Ugh. Now this puppy, I would say, is for decor only, as you can see from the inside. And let me see who made this one. Oh, this is a Revere Wear as well. The last one I think I, I got was a Revere Wear too. Um, all the little pieces, parts on the interior are present. Here we have this and then this. And then I just have to fix that glass top again. Could have kicked myself. Here we have that. <clears throat> um, oh, this tea kettle. My goodness gracious. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? And this has to be cleaned up yet. Oh my goodness, the colors on this are amazing. It's got the glass kind of finial top on it. Um, it is by Kenzie Childs. I haven't taken my bar keeper's friend to it yet, so I'm not sure how cleaned up it'll get on the outside. Uh, the top was really hard to get off of in the store. And if I have equally hard time here, I'm not gonna bother to get it off because I cannot remember what it is. It's like really stuck. It needs to be cleaned because um, I can't remember what the inside of it looks like as to whether or not it could be used or not. But it's for a decor piece. This is absolutely gorgeous. Spring into the summertime. Mm. 
Uh, let's see. I think, oh wait, this is not Christmas. Let me show you this. So it's a Bromwell's sifter. I'm trying to see if there's any rust in it. I don't see any rust. I do see discoloration. So it's possible that you could still use this with the wooden handle on it. But I just thought it was very, very pretty. It has a couple of scratches on it. But this also would make a really pretty decor piece, I think. Now, does that take care? Yes, I think everything else now that I'm going to show you is Christmas related. It was just crazy. So the first is this Santa toothpick holder. Uh, let me see what this says on the bottom of it here. Uh, made in China, distributed by Old East Main Company in Tennessee. So, oh, this was originally a dollar. So I don't think it's from the Dollar Tree. It may have been from Dollar General or something like that. But I thought he was just adorable. So he is brand new in his package. <clears throat> And a bunch of little Christmas ornaments here. These things are so cute. Oh, wait. That's a, oh, yeah. This is one Christmas ornament. This little lamb. And I don't think the rest of them. No, this actually. I don't think these are Christmas ornaments. I just think. I mean, you certainly could have them as Christmas ornaments. They are from Farmville. So we have this little piggy. And the little bunny. Wait, he's got little muffins on his ears. His ears are cold. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then that's a little a little Christmas duck or a little cold duck because he has a scarf around his neck. And then we have this one little um, Inesco kitty cat. Porcelain kitty cat with a bell around her neck. Uh, let's see. Those were all in that little box. And then Next, we have this whole bag of little tiny, like miniature wooden ornaments. <clears throat> I won't show you all of them because we literally would be here all day long. But they are mostly small miniatures. Uh, that looks like it's the largest one made in Taiwan. And then there are a couple of other things in here. Oh, that's a button cover, the little Santa. And here's just a few of them. Really, really cute. These I think I will sell in a lot. Here we have another Santa. Kind of like a Santa moon. Now he had something on the back of him. Maybe he was on a button a holder or a button cover as well. And then a couple of these plastic kind of to make, make made to look like stained glass ornaments. But that whole, I mean, there's at least... 10 or more of the little miniature see like this little guy here the little miniature ornaments Oops, let me just pick them up before you know who finds them and starts playing with them and then we have this little woodstock i just remember woodstock from the the christmas shows that we would use my family and i used to watch every single year and he's supposed to do something what is he supposed to do Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay, I don't, maybe he needs new batteries. I hope he does and he still works. I'm not sure what he does other than look really, really cute. And then these two little guys, I think I would like to keep them together because they just look like they belong together. The little fox and the little reindeer. All dressed up in their Christmas outfits or their winter outfits. <clears throat> um... This is a napkin holder, as you can see, a Santa napkin holder. It's in very, very good condition. No, no chips. Oh, it has a little, oh, he has a little teeny chip on his foot right there on his black boot. You can see, but that's an easy, easy touch up with some paint. And then this guy, I may have to do him as a local sale. I'm not sure because he's pretty large. I might be able to take him off of here. I'm not sure. But there you have, he's a, like a, a pirate nutcracker. And where is his, there he is. See him there? Isn't he cute with his hat and his sword and everything? And there's his ship. Oh, does this look like it broke off of here somewhere? Oh, something looks like it broke off right on the tip there. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure what that was, but we do have him. Oh, let me see. Oh, what a dreary, dreary day we're having here in North Carolina in Raleigh. This morning I woke up to just over 20 degrees, 24 degrees or something like that. Uh, took Violet out in the morning and it was sleeting. She did not like it at all. I didn't like it either. Uh, it now looks, when I look outside, it looks like, it, oh yeah, I think it's a mixture of rain and snow right now. Because I can see the, I can definitely see the rain and then every once in a while I see a big something come down. So I think it's, it's raining and snowing at the same time and it has not gotten out of the 20s. This is the worst day that we've had so far this season. But I knew it was coming because some of those days, you know, toward the end of the year in the 70s and such, that was just crazy. But anyway, we get back with these adorable little Santa salt and pepper shakers. Oh my goodness, aren't they so cute? They're identical. I don't know if they have any age to them. Uh, there's no markings on the bottom. But they do have the original stoppers. They can't be more than... I don't know, what, an inch, an inch and a half tall, but they're so cute. <clears throat> Found this Starbucks 2003 little mug ornament. Now, this is funny. I, th I think this is funny. I didn't realize what was in this bag until I took everything out to do the video for you guys um, just now. And I pulled this guy out and I thought, oh no. I found him by himself a couple of weeks ago. Well, I went to the outlet just yesterday on Saturday. I saw him, what I thought was, again, I didn't realize that I had picked him up. He's a, either a salt or pepper shaker. I'd forgotten that I, had, that I bought this one. So I am hoping that when I go back this Saturday, that the other guy that I thought I had just left... Uh, is still there and he's not broken. That way I can have the set of salt and pepper shakers. But if he's not there or he's broken, uh, this would be a really cute little addition to a tiered tray, I think. But keep your fingers crossed that I find the mate to him when I go this coming Saturday. Let's see, what do we have next here? Uh, this is from Mikasa uh, Heritage. It's, what does this say? Cop, what does that say? <laughs> Christmas story. I think that's what that says. Just this really pretty little trinket dish or just for little candies or chocolates or something. And there is the Makasa logo on the back. Found this little precious moments ornament. Oh no, it's a candle holder. Well, that was in their store originally for $1.99. No one went for it, so it ended up at the bins. And let's see here. We put her in there. Oops, I think I put her in backwards. Hold on. There we are. There she is. Then you put a little tea light right behind her. And I think that says lights right there. What year is this from? If it even says. It was made in China. Uh, the box was printed in Taiwan. It's from 1994, this little girl. But I thought she was a real cutie. <clears throat> Found this time, a Town Square collection from Coca-Cola. Uh, somebody, I don't know if this was at an at a antique mall or if someone had a yard sale and they had this for sale for $6. Let's see if there's a year on this one. It is not a toy. Um, it's the SKU number made in China. I don't see, I do not, looking at this very quickly, I do not see a year on this. But that would be a nice addition to uh, somebody's Christmas village. Found this dinosaur. I'm so happy his arms were not broken and that he didn't get broken coming from the thrift store to my house. So, yep, he's glass. And look at his arms are glittery and he's got some glitter dots on him and such. So I thought this would be really cute. 
for a little boy or a little girl that is into dinosaurs. Oh, let me lay him down. I don't want to get him all this way and then break him, right? Um, this would be really cute for a retro uh, lover back from what, the 60s or the 70s? Look at that chair with those wild colors on it. Uh, made in China. I just thought it was a really cool looking ornament. Not one that I've seen before. I found this Santa. Is he a bank? No, he's not a bank. He has a hole in the bottom of him. Oh, he's from Cracker Barrel. Okay, made in China. So we have this Santa here. Look at his little face. So adorable. And this is made to look, but it's, I don't believe it is that spaghetti, they call it. Um, his around, around the rim of his hat and then his little ball and some more places here on him. Again, this is from Cracker Barrel, uh, no date, it says for decorative purposes only. But Cracker Barrel puts out some really cute little things, I think, and their original prices can be pretty, pretty high, pretty up there. Found this singular glass, yep, glass cardinal. Whoops, let me turn him around. And he has got some glitter on him too, with his gold beak. Really pretty. This would be adorable on um, somebody that someone, uh, they do a cocoa bar for the winter time. Look at that. Isn't it cute? It's a, like a little gingerbread man, but it's a mug. It's in excellent condition. There are no chips or anything on it. Uh, this was from Threshold. So that's Target, I believe. So adorable. Like I said, perfect for a little cocoa bar. This guy would look cute on a cocoa bar too. And he, oh, he's from Target as well. And it's kind of this little elf. I think that's what it is. Another mug. So the two of those on a cocoa bar would look really cute. Being both from Target, their colors just kind of match these two greens. They really go together. So really adorable little mugs those are. Found one Kurt Adler Hershey's Milk Chocolate, a little bear ornament. You can see he's still in his box. And he is from 2002. So he's vintage. He just hit the vintage age. For the NASCAR people out there. Oh, so let's see. This was put in upside down, but it's from Dale Arnhart Jr. And there are several, let's see, four, five, six, seven ornaments in there. Mini ornaments. <clears throat> and let's see, I don't see a date on this either. Trevco, I'm not sure if that might be the company that made it. Oh, here we go. Let's see what it says on the bottom here. Oh, here we are, upside down. Uh, yep, yeah, Trevco Trading Company. Made in China for decorative purposes only. Yeah, there is no date on this, but for the NASCAR people, I thought that would be a nice kind of addition to their tree. This, I believe, is made in Taiwan, so this has got some age to it. And this is a homemade spoon rest, it says. New in the package, new old stock, as they call it. And here it is, Christmas is homemade. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. That would be so nice sitting out on your stove or on your kitchen counter over the holidays. Perfect condition, no chips, no paint loss on it. I love finding stuff like that. Now this I found two of. It was originally in the retail store for $4.99 it's from Spode, it's Millennium Baby, and it's a three-piece set here. Now, if you didn't want to get it for the Millennium Baby, the two pieces in the back, I don't think they say anything about Millennium Baby. Let's see if I can take the dish out here without... Oh, no, they do. Okay, yep. The plates and the bowls and the cup say Millennium Baby on them. Spode, made in England. Christmas tree, but isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. I got two of those. I put it over with its mate here. Whoops. 
I have a few more things to show you. Uh, let's see, the gift of Christmas, snow babies. I forget what's in here. Oh, oh my goodness. I forgot this was in here. Look it. The little one is giving the other little one a, a kiss under the mistletoe. Oh my gosh. That's so adorable. Oh, and their little pink lips. Look at how sweet that is. Oh my goodness. And then it's got another. What is this? What is this? Oh, maybe he's supposed to be holding this. It's a little gift. Yeah, so that must have to go over like one of their hands or something. There we are. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest, cutest little thing. Oh, I love that. I just love those little snow babies. They're so sweet. Okay. They put him over here, put them over there. And then this was the day for snow baby ornaments. Wait till you see all of these. And if these don't sell, maybe next year I'll do a small tree of just snow baby ornaments. It would be so cute. We have this little, little angel flying with his trumpet. Whoop, let me see, there we go. There we are, look at how sweet. And then this one says, one, so this might be for maybe baby's first Christmas. Look at how sweet that one is. All of their faces are just so adorable. That one needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. And this one is fun, funny as funny can be. This little snow baby trying to climb up the candy cane with the monkey. I don't think I've ever seen a snow baby like that before. And then these two in the shoe. I don't know if they might, maybe, are they sledding in, this, in the shoe? I'm not sure. But whatever they're doing, they certainly are having a really good time doing it. And then the last one is another one in a shoe. And it's this little baby. Oh, his wing is broken. Dang it. I just noticed that. Oh, his little baby wing is broken. Oh, and I was just going to say, I couldn't believe that his little drums, you know, the drumsticks in his hands weren't broken and then his wing is broken. But from the front, you can't even tell it, but that's okay. He's still adorable. So he may have to stay with me. Then the last thing that I have <clears throat> is this holiday. This is big. The Holiday Express. So this I put in, I think I put it this back in the box upside down. So let me first show you. It's the musical holiday trains, whoops, train set. Oh my goodness. There it is. Okay, but when I took it out of the box to count everything, I put it back in upside down. But I have to take it out again anyway to make sure that it does work. And there is what it looks like. Whoops, a lot of the train track is in the back of the box. So there's 18 feet of track, um, forward and reverse, oops, forward and reverse animated winter bears, shining headlight and locomotive sound. Uh, this was originally from Walmart. And what was the price on this? Uh, $29.97. So when I was in the store, I looked these up on eBay, and these are now are going for $50, $60. Now, this would be a bugger to ship, I'll tell you that. Really big to ship. So this, I'm pretty sure, after I test it to make sure that it's working properly, this I am probably going to sell on Facebook, or at least try to sell on Facebook Marketplace. So that is it, everyone. I know there was an awful, awful lot today. Um, this was a great Christmas haul. Uh, my favorite, my favorite 
is going to be the two snow babies under the mistletoe. This just brought such a smile to my face. So that is my favorite. These two little ones are my favorite from today's haul. So don't forget, comment section down below. Let everybody know what your favorite find or finds were from uh, today's haul. I want to thank you so very much for watching. Um, don't forget, no live sale tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. So don't tune in because I won't be here. I'll probably be napping on the couch because I get off of work at 5 o'clock. So that's it. Again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. And until then, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. Bye for now.